Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll show you how you can overlap columns in Elementor. We very commonly see this kind of layout where one content overlaps on the top of other. So in this tutorial, we will see how we can achieve that with Elementor. So let's see how can you do that. Okay, here we have created a Elementor page and inside this page we have created a section with a two column layout. And on the first column we have created some content and also add a blue background for this column. So if we go to this column settings, here we can see we have give a blue background for this whole column. Now on this right column we want to add an image. So let's click on this plus icon and drag this image widget and let's upload an image. Okay, so after uploading this image, you can see our left column has also become taller because here on the right column, our this image is taller. So that's why our left column's height is automatically increased. So to get rid of this, we need to set a fixed height for this image. So if you go to this image settings and go to the style tab, from here we can set a height for this image. So if we set its height to 300, this becomes smaller. Okay. But here first of all I want to get rid of this space around this image. So for this go to the section settings from here and go to this column gap option and make it to no gap. Okay, so we don't want any gap between our columns. So right now I want to make the image with the same height of our left column. So to do this, go to again to the image settings and increase the height to 400. Okay, if we make it around 458 pixel, it will be the same height of our left column. But here after setting the image height, you can see the image ratio is little bit distorted. So to get rid of this, we need to set the object fit from here to cover. Okay, now the image ratio is properly maintained. Okay, so from our height option, we can easily adjust the image height with our column height. But here I do not like this way because on our left column, if we add more content, like if we add one more button here, if we duplicate this one, you can see here we need to again adjust our image height. So to get rid of this problem, here we do not use this image widget. So first of all, I want to delete this widget. And instead of that, here I want to use a background image for our right column. So let's go to this column settings and go to style. And from our background option, let's select an image. Okay, you can see now our image has been added as the background. So we need to adjust the position for the background to center center and also adjust the size to cover and here on this right column you can still see the spacing around this background image so to get rid of this we need to insert at least one widget inside this column so if we go to our widget area and from here i want to add this spacer widget so let's drag this here and now this problem has been solved and let's also delete this additional button okay so now first of all before overlapping i want to make this image a little bit taller than our left column and for this we don't have to do anything with our right column actually we need to go to our left column settings and go to this advanced option and from here we need to add some top and bottom margin for this column so if we make the top margin to 50 pixel and also the bottom 50 and now we can see because of this margin our right column now looks taller and after that i want to make this column to overlap above this one so we need to add some negative right margin for this column okay from here if we make it to minus 50 here you can see it didn't work so to make it work properly 
we also need to add the same amount of margin from our left so as we make here minus 50 pixel and we also need to make the same amount of margin on our left but with a positive value now this is working properly but you cannot see it because of the z index so if we increase the z index of this column if we make it to one okay you can see now this is overlapping above our right column so from here if we want to make it to more right we need to increase this value from here so if we make it to 100 and we also need to update this to here 100 okay now this is moved to more right side okay but here you can see we have more white space at our left and less white space on the right because we have moved this left column to 100 pixel right and that's why our this whole area doesn't look centered so if you want to make it to center we need to go to this column settings and go to the advanced option and go to this custom CSS and we need to paste this CSS so here we basically move this whole section to minus 50 pixel left and after that this will look perfectly centered to our section and here you can see we have exactly used minus 50 pixel and this value need to be exactly half of the value of the negative margin of this column here so right now that looks perfect for our desktop now let's take this for our tablet and mobile devices so let's go to this responsive mode and here first of all go to the tablet device okay here everything looks perfect without this heading font size so let's go to these settings and go to typography and i want to make the font size smaller 30 pixel okay now everything looks perfect on tablet and let's go to mobile device okay so for mobile devices we don't want to overlap these two sections we normally put this column one after another so for this first of all we want to remove the margin from this column so go to this column settings and make the margin to zero okay and we also want to adjust the padding for this column so let's make 20 or 18 pixel padding and at the top i want to make it to 50 pixel and at the bottom make it to 60 okay and after that here you can see for our this column we cannot see this background properly we need to increase the height of this column so to do this we need to go to the settings of the spacer widget and here you can see we can adjust the height of the spacer from here we will make this to 300 okay now this image looks good but here one more thing i want to do i want to put this image at the top of this text because here on the mobile placing the image after this text doesn't really make very good sense so for this we need to go to our section settings and go to this responsive option and here you can see an option reverse column on mobile if we turn on this our these two columns has been reversed so our second column goes to first and our first column goes to last okay that's cool so everything looks perfect and lastly i don't want this bottom and top padding for this section so go to this section settings advanced option and make the padding to zero okay now that also looks cool on our mobile device okay now if we check it from our desktop it looks perfect and on tablet it also looks cool and for mobile devices it also looks very perfect so that's how you can create this kind of nice overlapping section in elementor if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next